we've been in a series. Can I can I bring the can we bring the word today? I am not going to bring the entirety of the word. Anybody anybody ever watch or play beach volleyball before? I'm just going to set the ball and then our very own Simeon Weibler is going to bring the word today. Uh, come on. And uh, S- Simi's like the most faithful guy uh, that Destiny Church has ever seen. And I'm excited because uh, the, the word he's bringing today um, is a part of his story. Um, but I want to set it up because we've been in a series about the names of God called Every Knee Shall Bow. We've been talking about the lordship of Jesus, the lordship of God. And we've been now going through the names of God, different names of God. And today I want to introduce to you a different name of God that's going to play a part and a role in what Simi's going to bring. Can we do that? Is that okay? We're going to tag team preach today, okay? And then I'm just going gonna, gonna to let the mic go, and I'm going to let him at it. Um, so lean in, because I've already, heard the, I've already heard the message. We've already talked through it, and it's, it's good. It's going to wreck you, okay? Um, so I'm excited about that. Really quickly, uh, Exodus chapter 31. I'm going to go there. I want to read to you one verse. It's, it's in verse 12. Sorry, verse 13. It says this. You are to speak to the people of Israel and say, Above all, you shall keep my Sabbaths. The Sabbath is the, uh, the first day of the week. It's the day of rest in the Jewish culture. And in fact, it is a part of one of the Ten Commandments. Keep the Sabbath. For this is a sign between me and you throughout your generations that you may know that I, the Lord, sanctify you. I, the Lord, sanctify you. And the word used here for God is Jehovah Mekodeshkim. Jehovah Mekodeshkim or Yahweh Mekodeshkim, which means the Lord who sanctifies. And that word sanctifies is good news for you and me. Because when you give your life to Jesus, he's not just the God who sets you free. This is after Israel has been set free from slavery. They've been in captivity, and it's a picture of your life. They've been set free from captivity. God released them from the slavery of the Egyptians. But now he's saying, I'm not just going to set you free from Egypt. I'm going to get the Egypt out of you. Okay, this is good news for you because when you give your life to the Lord, that doesn't mean you need to be all fixed, all good, and all perfect. Even the Apostle Paul says, I keep doing the things I know I'm not supposed to do. I keep doing the things I don't want to do. There's this internal battle inside of me. Anybody ever faced the internal battle before? You've been a Christian for 30 years, and you still do stuff you don't want to do. You still do stuff that's like, I don't know what I'm meant to do here. But God wants to sanctify you, and sanctification is a process. Sanctification is a process. And God here was telling Israel the Sabbath day is a day that you're going to rest. The day like I rested um, on the seventh day when I created all things. It is a day you're going to rest. And this day is actually going to set you apart from every other nation, every other tribe, every other tongue. It's going to set you apart. You're going to look different. You're going to be different. You're going to fight the urge to do and the fight the urge to work because you are set apart. And this is what sanctification means. It is the process of setting you apart. It's the process of making you different. If you are a believer, I just want you to know that you are different. You're different. And you've been trying to figure it out all along. You've been trying to figure out why your spouse is so different. It's because they're a believer. I, I, you, you just lean over to your spouse and say, I told you you were different. You're, you're not like everybody else. You're different. You're set apart. You are consecrated as the Bible talks about. And this is the process of sanctification. Does anybody, let me just come over and get mine. Sorry, church online. Does anybody have a favorite cup? Raise your hand if you've got a favorite cup. You know what I'm talking about? This is my favorite cup. It is a, uh, a Yukon. I got it from Bucky's in Alabama, okay? And I got a nice Alabama local sticker on it. You got a favorite cup, yeah? And you put your coffee in your favorite cup. But has anybody ever had this problem with your favorite cup? You lose your favorite cup, and you're devastated 
You're trying to think, whose house did I leave it at? Did I leave it in the cup holder at church? Oh, no. Has somebody stolen it? And you go weeks without your favorite cup. You're not sure where it is on the floorboard of the car underneath all the other junk, for those of you with kids. And you're like, I do not know where the favorite cup is. You and me are like the favorite cup. You're God's favorite cup. Follow me on my illustration, okay? And when you give your life to Jesus, the lost becomes found. Amen? God's like, I'm so excited that I found my child. I'm so excited that the lost is found and he's coming back to me and she's coming back to me. And he rejoices, just like when you find your favorite cup. But the problem is, is when you lose your favorite cup, for those of you who like to drink juice in your favorite cup, for those of you who like to drink coffee with milk in your favorite cup and you don't drink it black, what you do is, is you discover as you found your long lost favorite cup, you open it up and there's something inside called mold. And it stinks. But you don't discard your favorite cup because it's your favorite cup. You know what you do? You go do a deep clean of the favorite cup. And this is sanctification. When you are lost and you become found, then God wants to clean you out on the inside. He wants to deliver you from the inside, all the pain, all the hurt. And he wants to free you and get the Egypt out of you. Amen? You're God's favorite, and he wants to sanctify you because he is Jehovah Mekadeshkim, the Lord who sanctifies. And part of this sanctification process is baptism. Baptism. And this is, and this is what Simi's going to come up and talk about is baptism. we got baptisms coming up. We're so excited about it. And a part of the journey of a Christian is to be water baptized, not for show, but because it's a sanctification process. Amen? Can we give it up for Simi as he comes and brings the word? Thank you. Well, thanks, everybody. Um, Nani, thank you for your words. I was already emotional about my the story that I'm going to share you today, so I'll put these out. Uh, you, you wrecked me there. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, yeah, uh, I'm so honored to be here today. Uh, I sorry you expected Daniel. Now you have to you know, no, take me. <laughs> uh, no, really. Uh, so for me, uh, it's been a uh, it's the the start. This thing that I'm going to share you today is my journey uh, to be baptized. And um, as you can see, it's getting emotional. I'm so sorry um, ahead of time because it's just a journey for me. And when you say you see me as this faithful person, well, I'm not. Yeah, I'm was broken ahead of time and. It was a journey for me to get here, and um, so uh, sadly, my my wife Tracy, uh, my wonderful wife, she's at home right now because, uh, like in so many stories before that you hear Liam talk when he supported us here, or Megan when you had to preach, yeah, the devil tried to stop us last night. Yeah, she's home um, with a bladder infection, um, so yeah, pray for her. Um, we'll hopefully join up in Ansbach together. Um, but I think we, we beat the devil in the fact that I just took the church laptop with me and I said, well, then I'll make it better. Uh, so everyone online, um, I hope you enjoy uh, the little things I was able to do because I had extra time. Uh, <laughs> maybe less sleep, but extra time for that. So um, thank you for having me today. Um, it's really, for me, a personal story and uh, people who, who know me and got to know me over the last years, yeah, baptism is for me. A thing, yeah. Oh, it's gonna be a long one today. Um, <laughs> so uh, today is the 24th of of April 2016. That it took me there, but um, just so you know me a little bit better, I grew up in a German Baptist church, uh, a free church um, um, in Kontal near Stuttgart. Um, and one of the routines uh, that was there was that you you go the journey and you have like at least a week of preparation uh, when you're 18 years old and then you are allowed and uh, kind of ready to be baptized um, well I left the church before I was 18 um, so um, never got baptized um, I didn't know how much that impacted me in my life um, so big mistake back then but also it didn't feel ready the church um, was not 
for me at that moment in time, I was lost and it's like kind of, okay, um, need to, to go away and then search for all my life um, until that day uh, to find the right connection, right? So church didn't fit, um, I don't know, the pastor didn't fit. I didn't want to do it in a regular German church. I didn't want to be sprinkled with with water. It, that was not my thing. I like, I was, I was just looking and... Um, so uh, that's kind of the time um, uh, of my my journey. Uh, it's like I'd, I was just looking, for, always looking for the perfect thing, and kind of avoided it, and and came back and and forth. So it, it really was, um, yeah, it's just a struggle, um, and uh, I just don't know why. Yeah, and then so then I realized uh, being here at Destiny Church, um, hearing all the stories and stuff, and then I realized what I missed out. Yeah, that's my second point. It's just um, you don't even realize what you're missing. You know, if you're not baptized, uh, there's this covenant relationship with God that you initiate immediately. Yeah, be because you give your life to Him. And um, I was so focused on the worldly things, the worldly confirmation, the the, the affirmation, the just the acceptance by everybody else around me, but not not the one that matters yeah and and so that's why it's like you're stranding off and um you know some of these things are you know impacting the family yeah so you know you make stupid mistakes and you you just um your focus is wrong yeah and um and that impacts family friends uh colleagues and everybody else so so that really, I like. I realized that after I was baptized, that hey, man, that's why. Why did I do that? And you know, you can try this on your own. And I think you're having maybe periods where you feel like, oh yeah, I got it. You know, I'm okay. You know, I'm uh, I'm living my life. But um, uh, no, it's. I truly believe that with the help of God, with that covenant relationship with God. Is where you, where you, ah, it's a different story, and I'm going to tell you about that if I if I get there. <laughs> so, uh, the one thing that I that I researched uh, in this, and I apologize uh, for this one. Uh, so, what does baptism mean? Yeah, and uh, there is one thing in. Uh, in our ATTP um, course, and uh, I wanted if you could put that on the slide. So for me, it's really important. If you haven't done according to the pattern in uh, with us, please go there, um, do that course because it will um, tell you everything about our journey here with Destiny, and um, and according to the pattern in that week one, that's when we when um, I think Pastor Liam is talking about uh, the baptism. And so you can learn all about that. And for me, um, Matthew's twenty-eight nineteen, um, it says, "Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the, of the Son and of the Holy Spirit." I mean, that for me says it all. That's what's uh, so important. That's what we believe in. Um, and uh, and and then I thought, okay, why not being the cool? cool guy and ask chat gpt what 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 is that all about you know do, does the ai know what baptism means yeah and so i actually did and i was i was shocked and, and surprised so i like i i read you out what the ai uh, knows about uh, baptism um and for me the three points that that it came back with um it it's one is the symbol of cleansing and forgiveness baptism represents the cleansing of sins and the forgiveness of transgression, transgressions. It is the way for individuals to be spiritually washed, purified and reconciled with God. So something so supernatural is taking place at that moment. Symbol of new life and spiritual rebirth. Baptim, baptism is often regarded as a symbol of new beginnings and spiritual rebirth. It signifies a person's decision to follow Jesus Christ. <sighs> And be transformed by the Holy Spirit, starting a new life dedicated to faith and obedience. 
And the third point is symbol of identification with Christ. Baptism is seen as a way for individuals to... Oh, oh, <sighs> to publicly, that's exactly it, identify themselves as followers of Jesus Christ. It symbolizes the union and covenant with Christ in his death, burial and resurrection, and their participation in his re re redemptive work. Sorry, guys. Um, but you can see how, how these things are touching me. Uh, I was not the perfect person. I was not the super faithful guy. It's not me. <coughs> Sorry, online church. Uh, <laughs> Um, that was just not me. I was maybe me on a Sunday. I was trying to, to play a role. I was trying to be someone. Um, I was trying to, well, in the early days, we just did church. Yeah? So no one noticed how broken I was. Um, and um, yeah, and you know, it's the day that this happened to me. And, and this is my, my, my fourth point is be ready. Be ready what happens on that day. It's the 24th of April 2016. It's really for me the day that, that initiated everything. Um, and you, you're going to see some pictures of, of me on that day. And it was so special to me. And you can see um, that <laughs> for me it's really from the journey that I, I was standing there and was ready to, to give my old away and to be washed clean. And you can see in the middle, that's for me, is, oh, it's just that picture made me emotional yesterday already, so I'm not even looking at it. Um, it's, it's not that I had to wash the water off my face. Yes, that was one thing, but I could wash everything else away from me. And that was so powerful. In that moment, I felt so like, oh, man, this is unbelievable. The emotion that I had in me, it's like I felt so empowered. And, and all the pictures after, you just see me smiling. Yeah. I, I couldn't. I couldn't do any different than smile. And so being relieved from, from, from everything that I did before to, to this new person and that I could finally act in uh, faith and with him as a support. So it was, for me, that was such an amazing experience. And, and that's why if you wonder why I'm so excited about baptism, that is the moment why I am so excited for every single one of you that we can make this possible. Yeah, I'm even going out and buying whirlpools and I just like, I don't care. This thing has to happen. There's no excuse for anyone to say, oh man, it's raining or hey, the water is too cold. Uh, I don't know. The sun is too shiny. I don't, I don't want to know. It, there is no reason in this world that I will not drive and bring you that whirlpool and get you baptized. Yeah, so, so really... Uh, and uh, it's it's so important it, um if you um if you haven't seen that it's for me it's like that new start of your life and and uh if you think about you know maybe you're doubting yourself and it's like well i got sprinkled on with water in my past or um you know i i don't feel that power well you know what just redo it if if you're if you're not sure if you receive that, if you're not sure with that covenant relationship with God, then redo it. We are church family. We, there's nothing saying that you can't be baptized twice yeah, uh, or the full submersion of water. So I really encourage you just if you're not sure, if you don't feel like me when we're talking about baptism, not everybody has to get that emotional. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. But if you don't feel that in you, if you don't feel that power and the excitement of God, then maybe, you know, take the opportunity. Um, and uh, I think it's, it's going to be one uh, amazing uh, church camping anyway. But I would really love to, to give you that opportunity and, and, and do that together with us and the family that's, that's going to surround you there. Um, and it's just the relief and the reset and, and that, that empowerment is what you're going to feel. Oh, man, I like, you know, there's, there's not a, a lot of things in my life uh, that, that I would uh, get anywhere near that because it's, it's, it, 
it lets the weight fall off your for, fall off your back and um you just always have that support you you feel i mean the things that i get done nowadays is and i you know give it all to god it's he empowers me and and i feel the same way when i see you know you, you vibe guys like you're just oh man you're powered up you're steered up you're fired up there's nothing that we can stop us when we're when we're uh, journeying with god and and so i really i really wish for you that uh, you take that opportunity and if you feel like man you're old person you it's it's too heavy it's too big if uh, you you feel like this you know you're you didn't deserve it uh, you did you know you it's there's nothing that that god says or there's no filter there's no criteria for anyone um to to not get baptized yeah so please uh, he wants you he wants you and um yeah it's for me the 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 experience itself uh, was was so uh was so amazing and and what i find is like from that day um you know i think we heard it in in one service before is where we are the light on this earth yeah and and we should shine and from that moment you are you are even brighter light on this planet and you shine to different people you can be different uh, in your community they're going to notice that as well what happens to you when you when you come out of that water and so i really just encourage you because as you can see i'm so fired up i'm always when when, when we're ready i'm uh, i'm so happy for every single person that comes out of that water and and feels feels different um, but but really come with that expectation yeah it's and and very important uh, also you might have been you know you left your old behind but please for, don't forget the people around you they might see you differently but please make sure that uh, they make they understand that what you just been through so forgiveness is huge you know start start expressing that as well you know what you did wrong i mean you know that the father forgave you but all the others need to also understand what you just transformed formed into yeah that they give you a new chance because you are a new you yeah and so please don't forget the others uh, around you that are on that journey and on that day for me that was uh was um it was amazing because my family was there they traveled all the way over um to to be there and witness that day for me and um that uh yeah was special if you want to get to know more and me crying more probably talk, talk to me afterwards okay uh, so and and lastly for me um it's really uh what what i did not know yeah is is to get to know the baptism of the holy spirit yeah this is something that that you you do, i didn't know I really did not know about that and and so that's why I like uh, when I received that and for me that was anyway a crazy story uh that uh, Ivan um Squilini I'm not some of you know him he visited us uh, once in a while here in Erlang and he's oh, he's I don't know I cannot describe him he's amazing what he's doing and uh, and he just turned around one day and said hey um have you been baptized uh, with the holy spirit and I said no and he's like turned around laid his hand on me and uh, and prayed for me and and at that moment i didn't even realize what gift i just now received um and that's why i, I like i said i was spent some hours in the hospital or some some moments so there are qr codes multiple so um the one is is leading you to a, a devotional uh, from daniel that uh, that he made um about that uh, and then also a whole series uh, of the the holy spirit and if you don't know what that is if you don't know what that means the baptism in the holy spirit i really encourage you to to add that on i i put my notes down for a gamer think about it you get an extra bonus level yeah you get extra power you you like added your skill man so that's why uh, um it's that's something that is so personal also with you and god is that uh, you have now um you know praying in tongues is one of the gifts that you get there and it's your it's your personal language with god that you can use and that you can speak to him directly and and that is uh, it is so empowering and and in acts 238 
And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, and for me, it's, it's just another tool you have in your hand. And for me, that is on a daily life. Uh, for me, the whole journey that I've been on, um, it, it changed the way that I speak to my colleagues. It's, it's different how I behave during the day. I hope I'm better to my family. Um, so they notice that too. Um, but it just empowers me so much to, to really just reach out. And if I'm at my bottom lost, and um, you know, the Holy Spirit always surrounds me and guides me and leads me. And I feel, I feel just so much strength coming out of that. Um, and I asked the band to slowly come forward for for the for the song that uh, I think rep, uh, like is is more than ever for me stands for for baptism is this I believe uh, so uh, sing it out um, ATTP also there's a in, in one of these videos it's about the baptism of the Holy Spirit um, so for me. Um, this, this all makes it it's so special. And, and for me, it's where I wish every single one of you the same that I received. Um, and I just, I want to finish with, with one word. Uh, it's Acts 8, 36 to 39. As they continued down the road, they came to a stream of water. The Inuk said, here's water. Why can't I be baptized? He ordered the chariot to stop. They both went down to the water and Philip baptized him on the spot. So nothing should stop you. Stop your chariot. Just stop your life. Stop whatever you're on the journey and just get baptized. Thank you so much. Can we leave, leave this up on the screen? You guys don't need to sing the lyrics. Can you stand with us today? Simi, thank you so much for your vulnerability. I think I could speak for all of us in the room. Yeah, is that okay? Thank you for your vulnerability and your boldness. Um, so impactful. What you just did was not easy. Um, so you heard Simi. I don't need to say it again. Get baptized. We're going to leave this on the screen. Can we just worship? Can you just lift your hands with me today? Father, we thank you that you are Lord, you are King. God, your word tells us to do exactly what Simi's talking about, to be baptized. God, help us in every area of our life to align with you, to be obedient to you. And I, just, I thank you, Lord, that you move us to heart in our next steps on the journey with you, whatever that may be. For many, if it's baptism, we would take action. We would do it. And we wouldn't wait until we're fixed up because part, baptism is a part of the process of sanctification. We need that. God, for some of us, if it's Holy Spirit, we need the baptism of the Holy Spirit. We thank you that you do that now. Baptize us in the Holy Spirit, God. Fresh wind. Power third person of the Trinity we thank you for that all the gifts of the Holy Spirit would be made manifest in our life the ones we haven't reached for the ones we haven't sought after all the gifts of the Spirit would be made manifest we thank you for that can I just ask before the worship team sings um, if there's anybody in the room who's never made the decision the decision that comes before baptism to say, Jesus, you're the Lord of my life. I want, you, I want you to come into my life and change and transform me. I want you to set me free from my captivity of sin that we're all subject to outside of Jesus. And you, today you want to make the greatest decision that you've ever made to say, Jesus, you're the Lord. I'm, I'm not the Lord. You're the Lord. I'm not in control of my life. Jesus, you are. It's not my will, Jesus. It's your will. 
Can we just all, all of our eyes close? I want to pray for you. But I just want to know who I'm praying for, and we're not going to call you down front or anything like that. But if that's you and you want to make that decision today, can you just put a hand in the air and say, that's me. I want to make that decision for the first time, or maybe I'm rededicating my life to him today. I want to make that decision online as well. Today can be the greatest decision you'll ever make to say yes to him. Can everybody just pray this for me? Say, Jesus, you're the Lord of my life. It's not my will, but your will. Thank you for dying so that we could have relationship. Thank you for making me new. I surrender my life to you. In Jesus' name, amen.